Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Doodles to Dazzle. I'm Charlie. And I'm Barbara. And today we're going to start with a special episode. I think that's going to be very holiday themed. We're really starting to get into the festive holiday spirit. The Christmas feels. Yes, yeah. in the Charby household, we, we actually enjoy the holiday season a lot. Yeah. And we like to celebrate this this Christmas period. We get the whole decorations, the trees, the, the, the gifts and all that. So we figured... The feels. <laughs> yeah, the feels. The, the hot, hot cocoa with the mm. marshmallows. Mm, that's the best. Um, all that. So definitely are getting into the season. We figured we'd do something holiday themed for the next month. So I would say this is our first holiday themed episode. And what is better way than uh, to celebrate this special month mm -hmm. than to celebrate the spirit of small businesses, right? Yeah. As a small business ourselves, we wanted to give some insights and some tips on how you can help some small businesses yourself and this connecting this with the spirit of Christmas because Christmas has become something that is very commercial. It's a lot about gift giving, about money about obligation for a lot of people at least um or just it's more like shopping and the commercial aspect of it rather than the more the symbolic aspect behind what the season truly is about where it's about family it's about gratitude it's about reflecting on the year that we've gone through and Taking inventory of all the good, all that's come your way and, and finding, yeah, this, this, this moment of humble humility, this moment of gratitude and all the good stuff that's in your life, right? Yeah. And I think it's always a nice time also to show your gratitude gratitude and your gratefulness mm -hmm. to the people that you're grateful yeah so we we like to something that's we've gotten a bit big on is to send out christmas cards it's like one of our ways that we really like to connect or reconnect with people yes to, yeah to i mean that's how it began yeah. with us when we were doing art it was making those christmas cards all those years ago that really got us going as artists yeah, I would say so. In a way, it's a bit going back to the roots yeah. for us. Yeah, and we want to do that by highlighting the small business and how we can make this Christmas season a bit more special for the small businesses out there. Yeah, it's a, it's a great time to think about of all all the the blessings that you have in your life. So think about that. Think about people that you are grateful to. And think about how you can maybe tell them or show that to them. Mm -hmm. um, for us, we were thinking a, a lot about local businesses because this year we've really kickstarted ourselves more as a as a local business as well by doing markets in the summer and really working on our business ourselves, learning a, a lot more about the whole business side of things as well by getting more experience in it. And it's kind of really cool to see all the small businesses that are really out there because a lot of times you don't really know. Like if I go back a year ago, I, I didn't know so many people who had a small business who make things themselves, you know, and it's really cool to see that there's actually a lot of very creative people out there yes. who are extremely passionate, who are doing things very different uh, and, and really working their asses off <laughs> to say so, to make a difference in this world, you know? Um, yeah, you might wonder why small business or why local business. But the thing is, I would say generally the saying is that small businesses are like the backbone of, of a nation, backbone of the economy. It actually is. I, I read <clears throat> an article about this yesterday. And mm -hmm. in fact, it was saying that small businesses, they are very important for the ec economy and the community mm -hmm. because they bring new insights, they bring innovation, they mm -hmm. bring different perspectives that make everybody grow. Yes. You know? And they're also culturally so significant, right? Towards yeah. whatever product or service that they're offering, 
for example, we've got the local baker who we are close with and the kind of baked goods he makes are but also very delicious and offer a, a, a kind of quality of product that you wouldn't typically get, say, from a supermarket or... Yeah, um, you and know, it's, it's uh, also all sourdough. It's which all is also sourdough. Nice it's homemade. He makes yeah. it in his in his uh, bake bakery. So the point is, you get the the kind of personal touch that goes into these products, and the love and the 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 dedication to want to create something that that's is, really special. That's special. That's unique and you wouldn't get it so easily out there especially from supermarkets or corporate chains and things like that so that's just one example of mm -hmm. why it's important to support these local businesses because they it's like barbara said they're innovating they're bringing a level of quality and service that you usually wouldn't get from bigger businesses uh, not that they don't have their place in our society they do but Today, it's about appreciating the small guy, the little businesses. Yes. Because they're the backbone. They provide such unique value. They bring and support local other local businesses mm -hmm. also because, yes, if you're a local business, if you make bread, maybe you get the flour from farmers around you. Maybe you get the eggs from farmers. Uh, I'm just saying little things like, but I'm stuck with the baker example, but um, yeah, you, maybe you work with other local businesses to Which get your is, products. Yeah, and, and that again reduces your ecological footprint. Yes. So that's another big thing to think mm. about because in this day and age where you can get shipping worldwide so easily, yes. you know, it's also something to think about because, yes, it's very convenient that we can do that. But on the other hand, are we really being nice to our planet? Are we being sustainable? Are yeah. we being eco-conscious? Uh, as you could say yeah so yeah it's like uh, barbara says um at least in these parts of the world in belgium and, and and western nations i would think that many local businesses are taking bigger steps towards being more sustainable to be environmentally responsible yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so when you are buying something from a local business you're not just buying a product you are also supporting a dream a vision a story a family because mm -hmm. usually these are very it starts small guys it always it starts small sometimes these things it's sometimes yes. one person only who's doing something with a passion and a vision and maybe not so many funds and trying to make it in this world as a side hustle or whatever but by buying a product you help them one step closer to reaching their goals and uh, yeah, I am sure that they jump for joy when they get also a sale because, you know, because of all that, they will also put so much love and effort and they put all that passion also into getting your product in the best possible way to you. It's, mm -hmm. it's so much more personal. I mean, sales apart, there's also other ways to support them, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. Because, yes, purchasing their goods. It's, it's the most direct way you can support a small business and it goes a long way. Um, but there's other ways to support it is by sharing on social media, following them, spreading the word, so to say, um, if, if they put social media content out there. And these days, I would say most small business entrepreneurs would be on social media. Mm -hmm. If you're not, then I would rethink it unless you have a business model that completely is fine working offline which is okay which is good but if you're not online and you find that your business is struggling i would say you should be online right now um, and make yourself an account but to those out there please you don't have to support the ones we do but go find local businesses in your area that you connect with business owners who you really appreciate the products and services that they deliver yeah and maybe yeah share it on your social media profile or put it on your story or follow them exactly or leave a comment yeah you you will be you will really make a small business owner's day if you interact with your content because a yes. lot of time crawls into doing that yes. into the social media time that they cannot work on their business or can work on on making their products or whatever and it's a necessary step 
because you have to get the word out about what you're doing, how you're doing it. When, mm -hmm. especially when you're starting out and when you're a small business, it's it's a an important thing to do. But it's also yeah, very time consuming. Um, but yeah, so when you are watching that, just take a step and send something, share it or comment on it. It's there's. There's nobody more grateful than a small business owner mm. to see that actually also, that you're actually seeing what they're doing because yes. yeah it's sometimes so hard to know what people are thinking yes. even with us with the, the, with this podcast we have no idea who is listening we see some numbers yes and and sometimes uh, <laughs> we receive comments from yeah, people from, we are uh, very w close to but surprisingly suddenly someone says oh did you know that your hairdresser has been listening to uh, yeah. uh, your podcast and like, why? Like, yeah, I would yeah. never have thought it's, a, it's, it's unexpected because you have no idea who, who, is, who is really listening or mm. watching or, or interacting. You don't know unless if they reach out themselves, right? Yeah. So it's, uh, I'm sure that like if you do this, it's really going to warm the hearts of the, of the small business owners that you yes. already love. So why not try to do that this season, which is the season of giving, the season of being thankful. Give a few small businesses a shout out. Also, if um, not just on social media, there are ways to support them, like leaving a review on Google uh, business if they are on Google or yeah, TripAdvisor. Or referring or, to friends or family yes, or sharing their Word content. of mouth. Just yeah. There are so many different ways. If it's online, there's social media, but there's also on search engines. If their their business is listed, you can leave a review or if possible. Yeah. There's different ways to support them. Maybe connect with the, the business owner to see what channels they, could, they would like to be supported in and then maybe you can do that. Yeah. So... Yeah, please do go ahead and uh, support these little local businesses. Yes, the locals. Yes. And then <laughs> yeah. as a way for us to also support the, the, the entrepreneurs and, and business owners that we've connected with over the last year, especially, we're also going to do a, a social media promotion highlighting these people that we really connected with. And we also think you guys should go check out. Yeah, so we made a list with these different small business owners that we personally connected with in this last year. I would say you should really check them out, check out their profiles, because what they're doing is really, truly amazing. They have beautiful products that they often make by hand themselves. It's something that's completely unique. If you're looking for Christmas gifts this season... Take a look because you might find something that's really, really special with them. It's really worth it. Interact with them. Yes. Give them a shout out. And there's another small business you could support, which yeah. is us. And you can, <laughs> Yours truly. You can maybe start here if, if you're a bit <laughs> lost or confused. And uh, perhaps you can uh, take a look at our Etsy shop. We've got Christmas cards there already. Yes. Thank I, you, everyone, I love who's this. already been yeah, exactly. buying uh, and ordering some of these Christmas cards. Very grateful yeah. to you guys already. It's, it's, it's so nice. I'm really enjoying to pack them, uh, especially yes. for you. Uh, it's it's really nice to see the reactions to them also and and how people what what they're loving like I'm getting like uh, feedback about oh the colors are so nice and the subjects are so different and I mean it's always nice to to hear you yes. know because often you're putting your head down and doing the work um, but it's really nice to get the feedback when the product is out and it's loved and everybody yes. loves it as much as we do. And it's, yeah, it, it's, it's an amazing feeling. And so, we, we pack it also with that kind of love yes. <laughs> and feeling because we want you to have a very special experience when you get to unpack your little. Yes. The, the, the just as uh, an FYI, the cards um, are, we do the cards a bit differently than the other products. Yes. Because the cards we have it here with us at home. We printed them locally. We, we printed it with a local printer. Yes. And then we ship it out locally as lo well in Belgium. In Belgium, uh, in yes. Belgium. For the moment, yes. But if you are interested in purchasing some cards and you're not in Belgium, just send us a message and 
and, and reach out to us on social medias. We'll take a and look what we, we can, can see do. what we can yeah. do. And we yeah. can see if we can work with you guys. But um, yeah. Yeah. It, it, you can definitely also check our social media platforms if you're not already. And follow, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And if you really do enjoy this podcast, we kept it short and sweet today. We're just making it about gratitude and supporting the local business. So if you do like this episode, please share with your friends, colleagues, or family. Mm -hmm. And leave us a review if yeah. possible. Yeah, the, I think that sums it up entirely. That's it, guys. Until um, next week. Then. Until next week. And have a very thankful and festive feeling. Uh, feeling not we are feeling too <laughs> <laughs> season ahead. yes <laughs> there's until a little hiccup time. there until yeah. next time guys bye, -bye. bye. <laughs>